Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the new replace video feature found in Voomly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Voomly has a new feature out called Replace Video, and it's really helpful if you make changes to one of your hosted videos and these videos are located in multiple locations across the web that you can just replace the video here in Voomly and not have to deal with all of the other locations. For example, if you have a video sales letter and you have multiple websites where that sales letter is featured or multiple pages, different landing pages, and you wanted to change the video, maybe you have new information or I don't know what, but you need to change the video for whatever reason. The old way, you'd have to upload the new video, copy and paste its embed code, and then go to every single web page that it's featured on and change that embed code. Well now with the replace video function, all you have to do is what I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to pretend that this video here, it's just a little, your opinion is important, please leave a review thing. And we're going to say we have this on a dozen or more websites, but maybe we rebranded the website and now we no longer have this logo and we want the new branded logo on. So that's going to be my scenario. Okay. So I have already updated the video in my video creation tool that I used that has the new logo and I want to replace this. So how do I do that? I want to go here and see these little three dots. You click those and you choose replace video. So you just click upload file and here it is. Now I did want to point out that you can also choose from an existing video. So if you have a bunch of different videos on your Voomly drive that already are there, you could choose a different one. And likewise, you can change your mind here before you go any further. Say you're like, oh wait, that's the wrong one. You could click change video and select a different one. Or you can even remove it completely and then upload from scratch. Now, before we move forward with this one, I want to show you what happens if we choose a video that's part of an interactive funnel. I'm going to take a break for a minute and I'm choosing a different video and I'm going to go replace. And I just wanted to show you this. The video that I just selected is part of an interactive video funnel. So right now I'm getting a warning saying, hey, there are some videos that are going to be impacted by this change. So my whole facilities maintenance training video of which this is a part will be affected if I change this. So if I replace this particular video with something completely unrelated, like dog training or something, then it's not going to make sense in the funnel. So it's just a little reminder that, hey, think about this. Okay, I'm going to go back to my original video that I was going to replace. You see, here's my new branded logo. And then I have these options. Keep old video. So what does that mean? Well, in your Boomly Drive, you can have both the original video and the new copy that you're replacing it with. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you have some use cases for the old video and you want to keep it around and reuse it in other web pages or whatever. So you can keep it. Why would you not want to keep it? Well, if you know you're never going to use it again, then you might want to save storage space on your Voomly drive or just keep it from being cluttered. So for example, with this rebranded one, I'm never going to go back to the old brand. So I probably would unselect this. Okay. Keep old timeline items. So what does that mean? So your timeline items in Voomly are those items like your buttons, your interactive links, your interactive images that come on, annotations. So any of those things, do you want to keep them on your video or do you not want to keep them? In this example, I do have an interactive button that they click and it'll take them to the form where they can leave their online review. So yes, I want to keep that. 
But had I replaced this video with something completely different, maybe I'm not even going to ask for reviews in the new video. Maybe I'm going to have a different call to action. So sending them off to leave a review link is not going to make sense with a new video, perhaps. So you got to think about that. Okay, how are these little items going to relate to the replacement video, if at all or not? In my example, I want to keep that button. So I am going to keep this old timeline item. Keep chapters. What does that mean? Chapters are a cool interactive feature that are like little bookmarks of your video. So say you have a 10 minute video and you have 10 different topics and you want the, your viewers to be able to jump to those topics as needed. So maybe you know, topic five is about, you know, X, Y, Z and they want to come watch the video and learn only about XYZ, well, if you have chapters, interactive chapters that display, they can look at the chapters and go, oh, there's XYZ, and click that and jump ahead to that chapter in the video. They don't have to fast forward through everything. They don't have to watch the whole thing. They can just go to what they want. So if your video has chapters, it's going to be the same sort of decision you need to make as you did with the old timeline items. It's like, okay, do these chapters make sense in context with the new video? If you replace the video with something completely different, and you don't talk about XYZ, then your chapters, your old chapters that say go to XYZ are not going to make any sense. Likewise, if you change the timing of your video, maybe you still talk about XYZ, but instead of talking about it at five minutes in, you talk about it at seven minutes in. So your old chapters are not going to make sense with the extended video that you created. So just think about how this will relate to your replacement video or not. And then keep comments. So your videos as they're hosted, if you allow comments, they're going to get to comments over time. And it's nice to preserve those comments because, you know, maybe they're social proof or whatever, but are they going to relate to your replacement video? In this case, since I'm only changing the logo, you know, most of the comments are probably going to be fine to keep, you know, maybe they're talking about, Hey, yeah, you're a great company or whatever. Then yeah, I want to keep those. However, had I changed this video to a completely different topic, then maybe those comments are not going to make sense in context. For example, let's say you're a dog trainer and you had a video that you're replacing. Your original video was training an old dog, how to train an old dog, new tricks. And you're like, okay, I'm tired of that. I have a new video that I want to have on this page. It's a little fresher and it's about puppies and it's about how to um, potty train your puppy. Okay. Well, all your old comments about teaching the dog old tricks have nothing to do with potty training a puppy. In that example, you would probably not want to keep your comments. You'd probably turn those off. So I'm going to go ahead and click the replace video button. Voomly's doing its thing. And here we go. It did take a few minutes, but Voomly has replaced my video with the new video that has the new logo. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.